In this video, I am going to present a solution, a complete solution to, I'm not going to say crisis. These are not crisis. I don't see this as a crisis, folks. Um, I'm just going to present a complete 360 degree solution. I don't want to sound hostile, however, to the politic which repeated throughout the history on so many occasions. About eight years ago, this politic of perversion. Uh, talking about Germany here, that's how I address Germany. Perversion, perversion. Has gone as far as destroying 80 million lives globally. Burned Europe just one more time, I should say again, to the ground. There is such thing as solution to this. You know, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Well, this is what you can do. This is call to Italy, to France, to Spain. It's a call foremost to the Eastern Europe, Eastern European states, which many are European Union member states, such as, well, let's start with Romania. Let's start with the Hungary. Well, we must address this issue as per must. And make no mistake, this is just as important for Romania and Hungary as it is for Poland. Czech Republic, Slovakia, Bulgaria, Slovenia, Croatia. Therefore, you're talking about already European Union member state. You're talking about the Eastern Bloc, of which some are considered as members of also Visegrad group. Now you're talking about the Poland, Czech, Slovakia, Hungary, and so on. Uh, however, For the cost, for the cost of your European Union membership, even if Italy and France and Spain, let's just say, supposedly they disregard your call, this is the solution I'm going to present in this video to this global problem. Even if they disregard the ultimatum for Ukraine, to get in inside of the European Union. Yeah, you, in my opinion, you have to stand up, all of you, and it would be right, the right choice also to do, I'm not gonna say solidarity, because we're all in this together. For the France, for the Italy, for the Spain, give ultimatum to European Union to immediately include inside of the European Union Ukraine give the ultimatum if the European Union does not wish to include Ukraine immediately accept Ukraine as a full member of European Union in that case this Visegrad group has to be expanded to Croatia to Slovenia I say to Romania, yes. I say to Bulgaria, yes. And absolutely, this European Union member states must give ultimatum to European Union if one does not want to accept one else. Let's suppose that Italy, France, Spain still decline to accept Ukraine inside to open borders, a trade, full partnership on their own to Ukraine, disregarding German politics as whole. Well. Let me demonstrate to you. I posted today this news here. And this is a news that concerns Lukashenko Vladimir Putin. It concerns German-Russian 
politics, basically. This is what it concerns. It concerns the politicians. Watch out, Poland, because this is the problem you created. This is the problem Kaczynski created. Kaczynski claimed that Slovenia would be better off, but basically not existing. It would be better off going back to Yugoslav Federation, to the greater Chetnik Republic, therefore. Watch out. This individual here, this is a mentor, a teacher. I was with him in Russia. He conditioned me with this photo. If it's going to be, if you will support Yugoslavia, if you will this, if you will support greater Serbian Chetnik state and this and that, then I will tell all about our whereabouts here. On this picture, when this was, they had me with him in Moscow. Listen up very good. This is his student. This is a Borut Pahar. This is the man, my dear Poland. Okay, I'm addressing as a, as a concern number one, Poland, Polish state, because Poland, Kaczynski, saw himself, of course, mentor of Morawiecki, mentor of Andrzej Duda, saw himself in this individual more than anybody else. And this is the same as Milan Kuc, and this is Udba. Listen to me very good, because today you have a big problem. Yesterday it was Ukraine that West have attacked by modernizing Russian military to degree one became capable of assault on Ukraine, and number two, have continued to purchase oil, petroleum, uh, but therefore have financed through a Russian oil purchases, gas, war on Donetsk, therefore Ukrainian Donetsk, as well as on Crimea. So listen up very good, Poland, because today, today you see, today you are the one it's you who is paying the price for this here is what you are paying the price. In Slovenia, we refer to this um, French-German train. It's called the French-German train. French-German train. You know who is the main initiator of French-German train? next to, of course, of Vladimir Putin and Lukashenko. Do you know who the number one is? No, this isn't about train. This is about the politic that we face now. This is not about going on a train, on a train as a train. It's this individual here, look. He is the number one. This is the number one man, the initiator he is crazy about this train, about this French-German train. He is insane about this French-German train. He is crazy about it. He is obsessed with the French-German train. This is a train that is crushing you. Yesterday crushed Ukraine. Today it's crushing you. It's now the European, so-called European Union. That's a, just a fictitious name because European Union does not exist. Nor does exist European Union Court for Human Rights, nor exists European Union. These are fictitious names under which Germany operates a territory. Therefore, like you would drive lorry, operates a territory of countries combined on, as is mapped, European Union. But there is no such thing as European Union, and there is no such thing as a European Union Court for Human Rights. If you complain to the human rights, if you're from the Eastern Europe, know that the only way through you will get through to, on that court is going to be by your own officials whatever the hell you're from, approving your complaint first, prior 
the West is going to give one green light to for to be successful. You understand? For you to be recognized, for your complaint to be recognized, it's going to say Alexander Vujic, you see, a Bord Pah or Milan Kuchan, um, and in Poland the same thing. Everywhere the same thing in Eastern Europe. Before these people give a green light for your complaint, you're not going to see anything happening in this European Union court because it's fictitious. It does not exist. There is no such thing as a unity. It's about the German global politic. And you know, its claws, you can already feel on your skin big time by now. For instance, if you go to this website, I'm sure that you know one, and I'm not talking about so that you can go here and purchase yourself stuff, whatever. I'm just trying to remind you that a lot of people, and especially the German stores, couldn't boost their prices. There are numerous German stores, Spar, Interspar, um, Lidl, Aldi, Hofer, I don't know, uh, Kik, uh, Teddy, and um, it, I don't know how many German stores that provide this cheap China-made, Chinese-made products. There is nothing wrong with these products, not at all. Actually, exactly the opposite. These are good products. They are just dirty cheap when compared to the products you can purchase in Europe. Also, they all are from uh, half Chinese origins. Now, if you go to these German stores I mentioned, you get them for a little less, for a little less money. But from two months ago, since the so-called coronavirus crisis, you have to pay a special tax. You became taxed for another 20 plus percent if you order online through AliExpress to degree I realized it's better you'll be better off going to the German stores and buy whatever they throw on the shelves than going through here just try with the shoes clothing and you're gonna see what's gonna happen that was not the case before now it is now everything started to get a different as Mr. Borat Pahar would say A German face, a real German face, a real German train face. Okay, this is now the real German train. We are getting a real German train. A taste of the real German train with a crisis on a Belarus border uh, with what goes on right now. Eventually, with a Belarus individual now threatening to European Union is going to shut the gas flow because of the border's path to European Union. Um, we are finally getting the real, real, real taste and the knowledge about the two politicians that Poland supported so much in Slovenia, for instance, because they believed it would be just the best you know, the best is just whatever. This, this would be the best. This crisis, all these problems we face, it appears that this would be simply the best thing. Right, Mr. Kaczynski? Right, Mr. Andrzej Duda? Mateusz Morawiecki? You wanted this to happen? You like this? You like this kind of problems? You do? You like it? You must like it. Whether you like this or not, or you don't like this, Today, you are part of this because you created this. You created this through Ukraine. You created this through Slovenia. And you know what? You're going to fuck us all up. Just as I have written here, you're not going to be capable to handle this crisis. They already have you by the throat for your constitutional court. They charge you like a million dollars, I think, or something per day. That's what this European Union is doing. They have done damage to the Hungary. They're doing damage to everybody. Because this is the French-German train. 
There's very little French in it, but this is really a German global polity. Can make no mistake. United States of America, Washington D.C. Whether people in the U.S. agree or not, it doesn't matter. Just like in London, at Buckingham Palace, they stand firmly behind the Germany, and they do insist for the big global neo-Nazi plan to go through. For this plan here, for this thing to go through, whether you like it or not, they want this thing to succeed. And it's not his fault, and it's not a China's fault, it's a fault of the politicians we have, which are completely incompetent. These are the people that are not accountable for their own actions. They are idiots, in other words. I was going to say animals, but love animals too much. Now listen up, folks, because we are deep in this stuff. Donetsk paid price, Ukraine lost. Crimea paid price for this kind of incompetence. It's now the Poland that so-called fictitious European Union wants to send uh, all kinds of stuff in there, including forces and help. Fuck that help. The help, when it comes to help, it's a Russian-German politic. They signed agreement not only for the Russian-Belarusian reunion, but the same shit for attack or new attack on Poland. Germans who created a problem in Belarus through United Nations, they eventually and accepted partial blame for it, for the problems in Belarus. They incited in protests just like they incited in protests against Putin in Moscow, knowing for Belarus and for the Russia, there is nothing possibly could be done against the two systems. Rather than talk about the real problematic, there is someone who could really take Putin and Lukashenko down, but that was not in a German interest. I am the one. If they would talk about me, this individual, this two individual would have been gone across the night. They didn't want that. They wanted something else. They want a Belarus people that otherwise would stand to this psychopath you see here. They want a Russian people that otherwise would stand up with or without Alexander Navalny. Alexander Navalny is a fictitious. This is, Nav uh, this is a Putin opposition, uh, let's say, controlled, God sent to Germany. Actually, we can talk about the God when it comes to perversion. But an individual sent to the Germany for one to be used as a gift for the Vladimir Putin. When you waste this, people that raise their hands, eventually you throw them across the border, you treat them like animals. And along these people, you send over the border also a multitude of KGB agents, basically infiltrators in that real, I'm not going to say dissident. How the fuck can I say dissident when these are the people that are fighting for their rights to be alive? A good amount of these infiltrators along them into our countries, and as a result of that, you can, this can be a terrorism, like the same thing like it was in Ukraine. But... It's not going to hurt the German economy. It's not going to hurt the German politic because it's a German-Russian politic because they work together. They work together with one another. You don't have attack anymore only on Poland, but you have now, like you would take a beautiful painting and you would take a bucket of uh, paint or something like this. There is a fucking smash that painting a bucket basically of painting of paint against that painting and you would get the final product of the European Union of the fictitious already European Union we my dear Spain and Italy and France we are all getting fucked this is not 
the European politics we are talking about. We are talking about the same like as in the United States of America. And I did post this video also. It's a video I posted. That's okay. Where I point out and I prove that through the food crisis, literally, through starvation, A Buckingham Palace managed extremely successfully to not only is taking over hungry African continent where they created poverty. That's a German politic. Through the GMOs, they, they, they started to control the continent. The same thing with... Uh, um, South America, and they eventually are using for a very, very poor quality food that also causes all kinds of sicknesses. With only excuse, such as a political, appropriate, pr propriety, whatever, a problem also elsewhere in the world, such as Eastern Europe, not through the short food shortages, but literally what's going to happen is this is about a takeover, systematic takeover of the world, basically, and Africa and Africa and so on, they have prepared already all kinds of plans, claiming, since I was involved with these people, to me personally, that Africa can provide more than enough food for the entire world. This is extremely rich in minerals. There is water. It can be um, um, I don't know in English how I would say to that properly to express myself but this could be watered lakes, all kinds of stuff can be created like in Israel all over Africa. Uh, it's actually a really, really wealthy continent, and they don't allow this to happen. For this matter to be complete, they did sign agreement with the, Rus with the Ruskis, with the Russians. I'm not going to even talk about the Belarus. What is Belarus anyways? That's a pigeon from Russia, from Putin, basically. And also with the China. With this destruction of opposition, say there was nothing when it comes to Germany. It was only a blah, 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 blah. Poland is the same shit like with you right now. They are talking about accusing Lukashenko of gangster of this, of that, of blah, 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 blah. But, you know, let me ask you, did they ever went beyond blah, blah? No, he did not go beyond blah, blah. Today, the Lukashenko actually put the smile on the face and is laughing at us. Us. In a fictitious name of European Union, he says like this in an article, they're going to shut the gas flow to the European Union. Like, who the fuck needs the gas flow? We have a Saudi Arabia. We have other sources. We have numerous sources. We can get the gas, oil, everything. More than enough we have. If we want, that's basically how far this stuff have gone. It's a laughable thing. It's basically laughing in our face. That it's not a Lukashenko that's laughing in our face. It's a Germany that's laughing in our face. Look at that. Now, my dear, Lukashenko is telling you he's going to shut the fucking gas to you. Can you imagine this shit, Poland? That's a real value, a real price for your politic you have taken. The road, the path to self-destruction that follow after Ukraine now took your turn. You see, this is what you did with your French train uh, supporter, Milan Kocha, and you thought that you're going to screw us in Slovenia, only Croats, Slovenes, Bosnian people, and so on. You did not realize that next to Ukrainians and us, 
but you are spitting in your own bowl. God forbid that you allow some kind of fictitious European Union forces to go to assist you over there on the border, even that you have Russians rattle with the airplanes and stuff. Yeah, they're going to give themselves now a boost. The Putin and Lukashenko are going to now, and the only thing you're going to read is going to be blah, 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 because next to Donetsk, Crimea, next to Hong Kong, Next to Taiwan, that's about next United States of America, the land of brave and free that did nothing next to the Buckingham Palace, that Queen Elizabeth Carrier bullshitter that went and bully over there, China-like bully. They're going to do nothing but let Chinese take over and make step backwards. That's when the circle of bullshit is going to complete except that it's going to be you who's now on the next in line to take more bullshit next to Ukraine and next to Slovakia, next to Czech Republic, and they're really well equipped next to Slovenia. Ha, ha. Here, through my case, not. But if there are other people, they'll give a green light. I don't know. Croatia, Bosnia, and so on. That's what we have. This is your politic, Poland. Poland, I just am critical because I want you to ask yourself about your actions, about your views, and this views your actions. Because we, we don't see this shit. We only saw this stuff going on. We saw these politicians smiling, talking about the French, German, you know, like almost like you go to the fucking store and you buy yourself a croissant or some shit like this with a worm coffee delicious politic whatever so delicious like uh cyan cyanide pills or something like this a total suicide for us because the history repeats now this is the real french german train you got into in this stores in this stores here in this german stores there is in China. There is for China still. That's why this man is appointed as a boss. It's not his fault. He's a good man. He knows about the shit foot. He alone should condemn one and would condemn one, but he cannot do anything. But he's trying to do his best, but this is really not his choice. The taxes, the Deutschland, the perversia, the perversion now is collecting through you and is giving you in return unemployment is turning into debil. You are becoming European debils, idiots. You are debils now. This is debiliada. Now you're becoming, a, now you're going through the process of becoming debil yourself. The French, the Spaniards, the Italians, the Pollocks, Everybody, Ukrainian, actually, these are not European Union members yet, and that's why I said now. Hungarians, Romanians, you are learning how to become debils, basically idiot. You get your fucking tourist bonds, now you can go, and frankly, you can go fuck yourself with the tourist bonds, Germans collect the money through the investments they made to China. China still gets the merchandise going through, through the German stores. And it's going to get paid well through Taiwan. What the fuck do you get? You get a crisis, so-called crisis in your country. You are learning to survive with the masks on your faces, you are adjusting yourself to become a total debils till the African continent becomes divided, occupied, Mideast as well. And when that happens, it's going to be more weather changes, modification to the global environment. It's going to turn your beautiful green countries into a desert. You're going to be paying for expensive food from Africa. German is going to be selling you. That's what the fuck 
you are getting with your French German train. The train to nowhere. You know, Lithuania that is protesting so much against the China when it comes to Taiwan. You're not doing any good because with your politic, with your aggressive support for something that you know, it's taking us all down. And you, you do depend, your existence depends on Poland and Ukraine more than on Germany, more than anybody. Baltic states should know this. Without these countries here, you're not going to fucking exist for too long. Folks, stop the steal. Stop the problem. If you are unwilling to throw the Germany out of the European Union, tax one, impose the taxes on one, as the case should be, and everything would go back to normal. If you're unwilling to do this stuff, then you have to take Ukraine immediately inside of the European Union as a counterweight. It doesn't matter. Germany is never, ever going to go out of the European Union. Don't fucking worry about that. Like British did. Who did so for the sake of colonization because they are preparing themselves for that other step, for that other category. They're not going to go out. They're going to stick around until the end, and they will want you to stick around for as long as possible. If you don't form your own coalition, it will be best for all of you to form this together, really. Spain, Italy, France, we are in the same basket. We have the same fucking problem. We have a big problem with it. We are not getting wealthy with being taxed and becoming learning how to become debils, turning ourselves into lesser than animals in our own countries. To serve purpose, no other than this one here. This is the purpose we serve to. We serve our own self-extinction. We're going to destroy ourselves because in the perversion, truly, They don't understand the language. They don't understand anything. This is the language of perversion. They don't understand until they start to count their own corpses. Actually, when they no longer can count them, when the ceiling fall down on their heads, that's when it all goes back to normal. Don't. Stop the shit now. Stop this problem now. Form the coalition and demand Ukraine immediately inside of the European Union. Condemn. Yeah, after I did post this video, Yahoo posted this. Here is the main picture. It was immediately this German flag. This immediately they like it plays a big thing for the United States of America. It does but not for American people. And American people are already too far in cahoots. The same, the same as, the same as Germany is using Belarus and Russia to undermine values of European Union yeah, not that fortune. In the same form, they use Russia and Belarus and Serbia to undermine the values of the European Union in that exact, 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 exact same form. Buckingham Palace is using Hollywood world of sports privileged next to the bottom the most discriminated portion of the American society blacks to overthrow the republic don't stop this politic get your future get your lives back on a track Chinese know 
that with a politic known as a debiliada, you already have wasted your entire future through abandoning your own industry. It's not bad for them. It goes on their hands. You can't blame them for it. They worked very hard for that stuff. Still, they don't want colonization. But when you take bread away from them, when the only one that opens them a door is a Germany, and you have done absolutely nothing, not even to take care for yourself, to take care of your own issues, other than to accept some kind of money from European Union, some kind of cash that does not even exist yet, and inflation is skyrocketing, by the way, they have to agree with whatever they have because it's still better than nothing. That much about the American politic. American politic is a German neo-Nazi politic right now inside of the Washington DC, inside of the Hollywood. Through the black human rights, through the privation of that, they are overthrowing American Republic. You cannot count this time on the USA. You cannot count. This is the picture you get today. This is all you're going to get when it comes to United States of America, because United States of America is in a cahoots. The USA alone is in a deep problem. See this? See this flag here? That's a German flag right next to American flags. You can see these flags are American flags. That's a German flag right there. And if you go to this article that was, there is nothing but this German posing basically everywhere. That's all there is to it. Listen up to me, very good people. I am going to tell you like this. If you form this kind of coalition and you give the ultimatum, that's going to bring you extra leverage. It's going to give you a market. Foremost, it's going to give a China ability to bring literally to Europe business rather than to deal from China, assist China to come to Europe, do business straight with a China, bring the China straight to the Europe and grow literally through the AliExpress that is being taxed, that is being Well, sentenced to death, I would say. Bring them over, sit them at the table, form the headquarters, start doing something, start with China, through China, expanding your own interests to the India, to the Africa. And so together, you can beat this kind of problem. This is, this is the problem I told you. It's, gonna, it's just going to go and it's going to become a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger problem. Because these people, these people never stop. They don't know when it's enough. Because for them, just like the cases with insanity, it never is enough of it. They love one. That's why I address one as a perversia, as a perversion. Make no mistake, it's going to grow into exactly what you see here. It did in the past. If we had a more forceful, even a worse weapon than that, and we will finish ourselves in even worse way than this. The idea about us, people eating one another, us, people even eating one another, First, maybe even, I don't know, a black race, then maybe a Mideast, Mideastern, I don't know, South American, uh, and then a massacre within the nations, our own countries, inside of our own countries, so that this can prevail as a case is a no-brainer, should be a no no to the German French train. If you don't want to impose a taxation on Germany, exclude one from European Union, tax one so that one can pay 
as it should be the case, Germany should serve to pay for its past to Europe. World, if you don't want to do this, form the coalition if you are afraid of the German politicians, whatever. Bring the Ukraine in, sit the Ukraine. If they still don't want to go along, Ukraine, with other European Union members, such as Poland, Czech, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Bulgaria, form your own fucking group, form your own Visegrad, expand this Visegrad group, and include Ukraine inside and bring China to the table. Give China something so that China is not going to go on Taiwan. Because through this starvation, whether you like it or not, it's more tempting for China to settle for this great neo-Nazi plan for the colonization of Africa or whatever. It's going to be other countries in Asia that are going to pay price. The Philippines is on the table. Indonesia is on the table. Folks, we're getting into the World War III. It's more tempting to China to grow with us, through us, and we through China. Something that we can embrace, something that we can build our future on, then it is a German politic that grabbed China literally for the throat because of your fucking incompetence. You have to make a decision where you want to go and face more and more and more problems, all kinds of problems on your borders, inside of your countries, uh, a total disarray, disarray in Eastern Europe due to German-Russian politics, and all over the continent for that matter. Or is it that you want to start taking matters in your own hands, basically become responsible for your citizens, for your people, and do something for yourself, folks. Because, like I said, and have proven you, the politics we have now going on is a train to nowhere. The one who sits on that train, that's the one who leaves the hope behind. With my saying what I said, I don't have any other knowledge. I don't have anything I could else I could tell you. I am going to finish this video and hope that eventually you're going to decide about something important that you will take initiative and say, you know what, it's not okay. We started with this virus and it's going to be more viruses. It doesn't matter if it's going to be more vaccines, pills, all kinds of stuff they also earn money with. It's going to become more, and a picture is going to become of a future, of reality, of your reality, what life should be. It's going to become more and more bleak with more and more problems. So you have to decide what your future is going to be like, but you got to do it today. You got to make this session you got to sit at the table and you have to start talking about solution to this problem. Or you're going to have to take more and more vaccines, more and more precaution against yourself, learn how to become debil, idiot, more and more. You're going to have to pay more attention, more curfews, and, you know, a killings, wars, blood rape, all that beautiful stuff that happened once the fictitious European Union have increased beyond the borders of its initial creators toward Eastern Europe to the degree that Germany somehow figure out it would be okay to just overthrow one and go big time like globally have used even the countries that are non-European Union member states, like I repeat to you, to overthrow this European Union that doesn't have any kind of standards, does not have any kind of, does not recognize any kind of treaties, does not recognize any kind of laws, is a fictitious creation that's actually used 
to violate, to rape treaties, laws, in the face of the world, through the mainstream media. So the future about what's going to be like, what is exactly where you're taking your people, where what the future has in it for you, for your people, this is entirely in your hands. Sit, bring to the table China. Stop this. Stop this Lithuanian German servitude, this Lithuanian servitude, this 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 German American Buckingham Palace tension problem rising war mongering that has enormous effect nothing good holds nothing good in it in a future for us stop it stop this stuff at once before it's gonna I guarantee you they don't stop it gets worse and worse and worse you're gonna go through climate crisis you're going to have a drought in Poland, in Ukraine, in Hungary, in Romania. You're going to be paying expensive for what you were capable to produce in your own field yesterday. You're going to be tomorrow, you're going to be paying enormous prices. You're going to the fucking nowhere. You are on a road to nowhere. You stop this now. France, Italy. Or you're gonna Spain, or you're gonna turn yourself, just as I stated, into nothing. The final stage is the one I already told you about. It doesn't hold nothing pretty in it for anybody. That's a German politic. It's in place. It's a French German train. And I want you to understand Borut Pahor now, because you know, like I said, French German train. Um, uh, uh, Germany give the money, give a trillion here, trillion there. Nobody got that, any kind of money. Hey, don't you know about this money game? Trillion here, trillion there. Uh, and as they move past issues, this, nothing ever gets through. Did you realize at all what, what goes on? It's a money game. This is an old game. If you have to, if that's what it takes to send the fucking United States over there, send the fucking Washington, send them back, send the motherfucker back, back across the pond, motherfucker, the fuck out. We're going to have a World War Three. We are in the midst of the World War Three. Send the motherfucker out. It's no good. They're no good. They're there. They had no fucking good. They had they're no good. They're no good. They have a bunch of people in the United States of America on their bridges, homeless, all over the U.S. They talk about Social Security is too low, insufficient. Well, the fact of the matter is that most of American people don't ever see any fucking Social Security handout checks. They end up under the bridges. They end up sick. Today they count dead corpses more than what they can count. You... You're the one who cannot count corpses anymore. Go to Romania, go to their website and see what the fuck is happening. We're in the midst of the World War III. Start doing now. Get your session together. Get your fucking politicians together. Bring the China over. Bring the China to the Europe. Let's form the AliExpress Chinese business headquarters right here in Europe and start to compete with this kind of German-French train. If you already don't want to throw, to exclude Germany out of the European Union and impose taxation on one as the case should be, so that the history doesn't repeat itself, if your politicians already are so weak, do something about it.